Hey, welcome back to our devotional series in the book of Lamentations. We're reading today in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 31 to 33. And here's what it says. For the Lord will not cast off forever. Though he causes grief, yet he will show compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he does not afflict willingly nor grieve the children of men. So first of all, it says the Lord will not cast off forever. You know, many times we're waiting on God and we're expecting him to, you know, immediately act. You know, this is an emergency. Please, please help me now. And many times God seems to sort of take his time. And now it's true he, he exists outside of time as the God who supersedes all that. And yet it's also true that he exists in time. He made the sanctuary. He appeared there in the Shekinah glory. He came in the flesh of humanity through Jesus. God manifests himself through Jesus in a way that was very real and current. It's an error to think that God exists entirely outside of time. In fact, God entered time and walks through time with us. So he's not outside the time stream. He enters into the time stream with us. So then that's important because when you or I feel like, well, you know, what's he waiting for? Why is he taking so long? What in the world is going on? Uh, God is so different from me. He couldn't relate to me. No, no, no. <laughs> now, God is, is there through Jesus. He knows exactly the experience of waiting and things seeming to take too long. Jesus understands that. He understands what you're going through today, today. And so... It says, the Lord will not cast off forever. You know, even though you feel like, well, it's about time, Lord. Would you get to it? That's okay. Respect him. Don't talk that way. Don't think that way. Say, Lord, I trust you, and I'm going to do what I can, but when I run out of that, I'm just going to trust you. So we trust him. We let him bring us forward step by step. So then it says, though he causes grief, he will show compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. He does not afflict willingly. So God is looking to show compassion to us. He's just, he's looking forward to it. It's like, it's like if you have a person in your church who wants to do something nice for, for young people all the time, he's kind of that one of that a grandpa figure who, who is trying to, uh, he knows the things that the kids like and he's going to help them out. God wants to do good for us all the time. And so uh, we can trust him. We can trust his compassion and his mercies. He doesn't afflict willingly. In other words, he does not subject us to things that are unnecessary. He does not let hard things come to us just because, eh, I wanted to see what you would do. He's not, it's, that's not a mystery. He's not, he doesn't have to wait and see what we will do. But for us, it might be a mystery. We might need to understand ourselves better. And so we might go through some experiences that help us see that we haven't been all that we wanted to be. We haven't been like Jesus in the way we wanted so we will be afflicted sometimes because God is working on something very special. The carpenter's in his carpenter shop. Jesus is at work. So some things to keep in mind as we ponder this little set of verses for today. Whatever happens to you, in the end, God sets things right morally. So don't feel like you're just going to be arbitrarily subject to nonsense and that'll be the end. God is for you. And, and, and keep that in mind. That's an important lesson. God is for us. He's going to do good for us. Let's trust him and let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we believe that you have a purpose of good toward us, your children. And so we're going to trust you. We're going to go straight on forward serving you. Uh, we're going to but try to go in faith and not just uh, randomly doing our own crazy thing. Lord, you be our guide. You be our helper. May we be led by your, your spirit and by the word. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, and in granting us, I believe, through Jesus, this kind of request. We ask you and we give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So go straight on today because God is on your side.